Hi, this is Steve Strickland with Camtech Engineering, and today on Mastercam Money, we're going to talk about planes. And we're using an example part that requires machining operations on two sides. So I'm going to go over some basic ways to create planes and to verify your orientations on those planes are set up correctly. So the first thing we want to do here is set up a wireframe bounding box. And what the bounding box is going to give us is points in which we can snap our gnomon to when we create our new planes. So if I go up here to wireframe, go to bounding box, I'm going to select the model, go ahead and selection. And so now I have some options down here. I want to go ahead and make sure lines and arcs, corner points, center points are selected. Go ahead and say OK. And so what that's given me is there's a wireframe of the part and it gives me some good points here to snap to. As we move into setting up our first plane, I want to show you there's multiple ways in which we can do that. We go to the planes manager, there's a drop down, we have multiple options. If we select dynamic, it's going to give us the gnomon and we'll be able to snap to different things. Um, the dynamic works just fine, but I want to show you a different way, a way I think is a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and escape out of this and go down and just simply grab the gnomon in the lower left and go up here and let's place it and snap to that point. Now we want to set up the coordinate system. We want to get X along this axis and we want to get Z pointing straight up at 90 degrees. So if I grab X and rotate over and go ahead and type in 180, hit enter twice. Now I want to take Z and move Z up 90. So now we're all set there. The coordinate system looks good. I'm going to go over and rename this plane to be Operation 1. And there's a couple options here that I want to make sure we set. So the WCS, the tool plane, the construction plane, as well as going over to advanced to make sure we're making a new view, view sheet as well as a new bookmark. So I'm happy there. Let's go ahead and say OK. Let's go over to view, set an isometric view, and right click and save this view sheet. Now moving on to create our second plane to facilitate the drilling the holes here on the bottom half of the model. We could create our plane in the planes manager or we could simply grab our gnomon again. And you'll notice the orientation of the gnomon is set up to match our initial plane we created. So if we go here and snap to this point, since we're going to be on the bottom, we want to rotate our orientation to be 180 degrees off of operation one. So I want to grab Z. Let's go ahead and rotate Z 180. That's the orientation we're looking for. We're going to call this new plane operation two. We're going to verify that our WCS, T, and C plane are being set, as well as in the advanced tab that we're creating a new view sheet and saving a bookmark. Looks good there. Uh, there again, since we're on the bottom, operation two is in the bottom of this part. We're going to rotate over. We're going to go to an isometric view and right click, save a view sheet bookmark. And now if I toggle between operation one and two, you'll notice in the planes manager, my WCS and my C and my T planes are following. Uh, something else that's very useful here on operation two, if I go over to the planes manager, I can click on operation two and verify my orientation. We can do the same thing with operation one. There again, verifying my orientation. So this is gonna close out our planes edition of Mastercam Monday. I hope you found this useful. I uh, hope there's an application to this that may save you a little bit of time in the future. If in any event or any part in the future you have something specific to your application, please don't hesitate in reaching out. We'd be glad to help. Thank you.